Okay, so welcome to the channel. I wanted to do a video of a race that I just did today with the Volvo wagon. And uh, I did some livery on it using the National Lampoon's Vacation Family Truckster. And um, I found a lot of the stuff uh, online on GT7 and the other stuff I made myself. So the number plate was already on there, the Louis Glutz motors and uh, the panels were on there as well. I made that myself, the Wagon Queen family truck star. I did that uh, uh, banner, which I saw on the internet. I did some research. Suitcase was on there, but I added the Griswold and all the stickers in the back. I made the Wally World one up and also the Griswold on vacation. They are from Chicago, so I put some Chicago stuff on there and I threw the suitcase on top as well. Again, family truckster logo had a lot of fun with this one um we got a few likes uh, when i posted it today and hopefully we'll get a lot more and um i did use the wide body i highly recommend you do the wide body on this and i'm going to go through the specs in a sec but yeah the car itself this particular livery i think it's one of my favorites that i've done and um, i hope you enjoy it if you do use it on your own volvo wagon okay so as far as the specs go max this car out everything you can do to it you need to do to it you're going to use racing, uh, racing soft on this, not uh, racing hard, because it'll only get up to about 643 anyway when it's fully maxed out. I think I did change the maximum um, kilometers to 250. Everything else, I basically, like I said, it's maxed out. I didn't touch anything else. There's the high RPMs turbocharger on there. And... Um, other than that, I didn't tweak any of the um, settings as far as the camber and the, the race height or anything like that. You can do whatever you like to it. I don't know. Make sure you do get intermediate and wet because the south, it does rain. Okay, so onto the race. Now, the strategy here is very simple. It always rains around lap three or near the end of lap three. So go through and um, I took it a bit wide there. Um, so sort of getting kind of used to the way. It does handle very well as the wide body. But what you want to do here is just floor it and just drive um, safely and just to get through to the third lap and hit. So I found that the top speed was probably around 250 kilometers and I hovered around uh, position 13 right up until the, um, uh, the pit at the end of lap three. Uh, the car actually handles very, very well. So this is why you need to do the wide body. If you're going to get the livery, you've got to do the wide body anyway, otherwise it won't let you put it on. Um, everything else, uh, like, like I said, it didn't lower it or anything and it just handled well. I think the racing soft uh, was the reason it handled well. The other reason I think it handles very, very well is because it is not a very powerful car. It will get up to about 250 k's, but it doesn't have the sort of power that a, say, um, like a sports car does have. So you don't really have that wheel spin that you would get normally when you floor it, especially on, on a bend. Uh, but you still should be very careful. My traction control was probably on about one or two. I think I raised it high only when it started to rain. The um, fuel mix was actually on about one. You probably get away with between one and three if you want to get three laps. You can see the fuel. This is on lap three now. You can see I still got about a third of a tank. I think fuel mix one, two and three is uh, hovering between those three, you'll be able to um, get to the end of lap three. Now, it rained early, it rained hard and early. Now, I didn't struggle at all. Uh, I, I just raised my traction control up about three or four, and then I pitted, but every other car did start to struggle. I think maybe because they had very powerful engines and they were very, uh, they were spinning out a lot. Now, put your intermediates on. It doesn't matter how little or more you're gonna have rain. It doesn't really matter. Just put your intermediates on, and that's it, you will not have to pit again. You will just fuel up and you can go to fuel mix six. Now, because it was raining, I put my traction control up to six. My fuel mix was on six. And I trusted that that was enough to win this race because I knew that the rest of the cars, well, first of all, I don't know what they did because they, they were struggling. I don't know why they didn't go on wets. I went on intermediates. The rain kept coming. But what I actually did was just say, well, look, I'm just gonna drive and I, I was passing them. This is the beginning of lap four. And you can see I'm just passing everybody because they were struggling. Now, I'm pretty sure they went on wet, so I don't know why they're struggling so much. I was on intermediates and I didn't have any problem. It could have to do with the fact that the car isn't as powerful as the other. I hate that guy, get the fuck out of my way. Um, so basically, I just floored it on the straights and here I am, I'm just about to catch the leader and I'll pretty much drive straight past him. Now, 
I could have sworn he had wets on because when he pits later, it says he has wets on. So I don't know why he's struggling so much. So maybe because he's he's in a Corvette and they, you know, they're really terrible when it comes to the, the sort of power that they have and that's why his tail end was going all over the place. You can see when he pits, it's got wet, wet right next to them. So I don't know why they're struggling so much. But anyway, I didn't struggle. This car was beautiful. It sticks to the ground. Um, I was on intermediates. The tire wear was a non-existent thing because again, it doesn't have that sort of power where the wheels are just spinning and wearing out. And that's the beauty of this truckster. The family truckster is cool to drive. And I honestly thought I was gonna finish like maybe seventh or eighth in this race, you know, if I had a good race. But to finish first, this proves my point that sometimes, you know, it's like the tortoise and the hare. You know, I was just basically saying, you know what, I only need to pick once, fuel mix six, and I can go four laps without pitting, and you guys are gonna to have to pit. And they did, and it just left me to just have a really good time with the car. And for the last two laps, I was about, I think I finished about 30 seconds ahead of everybody. They were getting, catching up a little bit at one stage, but then I just flicked it over from six to fuel mix one on the last lap, or a lap and a half to go, and I still had plenty of fuel to go. The fuel consumption on this thing is brilliant because again, it is not a sports car, it is a family wagon. It is a Volvo and you can max it out and you're not gonna get that sort of fuel drinking problem that all the other sports cars have. And that's the problem with all these high-end sports cars. So I had a lot of fun in this race. I always use this race to get my daily grind because I'm trying to get my invitations to the Porsche and Ferrari. It's been over a year and I still haven't got my invitations to the Porsche and Ferrari. So here I am, I'm just about to cross the line, and um, and there you go. So, easy win about, I don't know why it doesn't also show how many seconds ahead I was, but this car uh, is actually a lot of fun. I highly recommend that you get it, do a wide body, grab the livery if you love uh, what I've done with it, and um, yeah, race Lasarth and use that strategy. Thanks for watching.